After reading today's gospel, I come away with two thoughts. One about that, that poor woman. For 18 years, she had been crippled, bent over. She couldn't even stand straight. And I'm sure she was living every day in misery. And I'm sure she had a hard time getting around. And I bet after 18 years, she was part of the woodwork around there. No one probably even noticed her anymore. But Jesus did. She didn't even have to say a word. Jesus saw someone in need and he healed her without being asked to. And there's a good lesson for us there to take the initiative ourselves when we see someone suffering. Don't wait to be asked. The second point I want to share is this, that Jesus cured this woman on the Sabbath, and as you guessed it, some of the hyper-religious folk, the synagogue leader, became indignant at Jesus. No work was to be done on the Sabbath, even the work of healing. He could have waited until tomorrow to heal her. Now, Jesus loved his Jewish faith. Jesus made a habit of going to the synagogue, and that he celebrated all the various Jewish holy days. But as much as he valued his religion, Jesus valued people more than he valued systems. By doing what Jesus did today, Jesus makes it clear that it's not God's will that people suffer one minute more than absolutely necessary. And that's a good principle of life for all of us to live by, to never let anything be an excuse for us not to do good when the opportunity is there before us. No good deed that we can do today should be put off until tomorrow. So let's pray that we will always see and respond with the heart of Jesus whenever we see suffering. May Almighty God bless and keep you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Have a quick response Monday.